guys and welcome to my channel um, if you're new my name is Alexis and today we are going to be just doing some errands around the house or not around what am I saying <laughs> clearly I haven't been out of the house in a while um, we're just gonna be running errands out of the house today um, I have to go grocery shopping and all that fun stuff but I hope you stick around if you're new and consider subscribing hit that red subscribe button um, we will be having a lot of fun content coming soon in this video, I will be talking to you guys about where we're moving. Yeah. But my car's telling me we need to get gas, so I'm gonna go get gas, run to the grocery store, and I will probably give you guys a grocery haul when I get back. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I have the yogurt in it. Yep. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, let's see if I can get it all in one time. Ready? Oh my god. Okay, so we're back and I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of what I got for the grocery from the grocery store. Okay, so bananas is a necessity in this house. Clearly. Um, then I got some jello for the kids and some pudding. These little crackers, peanut butter crackers for on the go. I swear I put two of these in my cart. I have no idea where the other one is. I have the SpaghettiOs, some grapes, avocados, and berries. And then my teeth have been super sensitive and my dentist told me because I've been using whitening toothpaste, so I picked this up. And some of these Annie's Chewy Bars. The kids love those. Some yogurt. Mandarin oranges. I got this teeny little ranch because I wasn't sure if we had any and I didn't want to have like a ton so I got a little ranch and bacon because I'm gonna make a turkey bacon ranch like wrap for lunch one day this week. Sweet potatoes for a meal like for a side. Um, some vegetable fried rice. I like to do this like a really easy meal. I've shared the what I do to doctor it up before in a vlog. Um, love that stuff. Have to have it in the freezer. Um, my Publix does these like ready to cook meals. I used to do the Home Chef, but I haven't like done it in a while. So I picked this up. This is a chicken breast with asparagus. So all you do is like take the plastic off and the lid and you just put this tin in the oven and it tells you how long to do it and it's so good. So that and then I got some ground beef because I'm going to make this really yummy recipe um, maybe tonight, I'm not sure. If so, I'll definitely share it. And with that recipe, you need cream cheese and then these um, tortellinis. And then I figured with that, for a side, I could do, like I did, I got a Caesar salad kit. But, let's go back here. Um, orange juice, Jack's, like, that's all he drinks. Chocolate milk, that's all Tor drinks. Um, almond milk for my chai tea. You know, we can't go wrong with a good bag of popcorn. Paper plates, because we're lazy and don't want to do dishes. Um, these immunity shots, I love them. Um, spaghetti, this is for the dishwasher. I picked up this sauce for the um, tortellini recipe. I don't normally pick up this sauce, but I'm gonna try it because that's what they recommended. Um, these cho dark chocolate covered almonds for a snack for me. And then for Jax and me for sandwiches, this honey ham and some cheese. The kids wanted these little squeezies and then some paper towels. So that is everything for my grocery haul. Um, yeah, I figured I would share with you guys in case you were curious what I pick up at the grocery store. I haven't grocery shopped in probably a week, so this is like our weekly grocery haul. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put this stuff away and make something for lunch. Okay, so I know I didn't finish the vlog off uh, yesterday, but it is the next day in case you couldn't tell. Um, oh my goodness, hold on. So, um, I just went to Once Upon a Child, grabbed some boxes from Home Depot, and I'm going to show you what I got real quick from Once Upon a Child before we go home. So. I'm gonna tell you where we guys are moving, I promise you, in this vlog, but 
it's somewhere cold so i'm gonna show you the clothes i got the kids need clothes because we literally have nothing for the winter um or even like the fall time so let me show you so we got this cute little shirt mm -hmm. a little bit all right buckle yourself and then a mini mouse one um a polka dot little shirt from old navy well it's from one spot child but you know old navy the brand a purple one just plain purple long sleeve t-shirt cute rainbow long sleeve tour had literally no long sleeves because we live in georgia um this adorable little old navy jacket is so comfy and soft and it was only three dollars like that is a steal tour needed some jeans so i picked her up these cute look how cute these rips are look at the bottom i love them i want them for myself little <sighs> jeans and then some pink little like legging ones these ones look like they're brand new and have never been worn they're really comfy feeling and they're only four dollars carter's camo pants a little sweater for a dollar are you kidding me a dollar a pair of jeans for him old navy they were four dollars jeans i like that they have the elastic so they're not so hard on his tummy like when he leans down to play and stuff a little pair of sweatpants for jacks she needs more sweaters like i said so unicorns are her fave let me see cute little unicorn sweater and this one is her favorite another little unicorn sweater let me see how cute so that is what i got and they're pretty much set i just need to get jacks a few more um long sleeves and a heavy jacket and we should be good to go dinner is going to be um i don't know what it's called i'll link the recipe below it's from pinterest can you give me a fork for yes i can one minute it is tortellinis um ground beef pasta sauce and um cream cheese and then some cheese grated on top if you want so i'll show you how i'm gonna make it real quick So I was FaceTiming with my mom, so that's why I look like I'm talking a lot. Um, but this meal is super easy. It all it requires is the ground beef, so I'm just gonna I just use half of it because I didn't need the whole thing. I'm just gonna throw that in the pan and then brown it. And take your tortellini and put it in a pot of boiling water until it basically it floats, it cooks in no time. So really don't worry about that it's really super easy so i'm just browning up the ground beef and just waiting for that to be ready for the sauce once your ground beef is brown just turn down the heat after you pour in the sauce and um, then just put a little cream cheese in. I kind of just eyeballed it. It was probably like maybe two tablespoons, but whatever your preference is. Stir it up until all of the cream cheese is completely melted. I had to add a little bit more sauce because I didn't have enough. pasta and then pour it over the sauce meat sauce and mix it all together 
add some cheese and it literally takes tastes like grown-up raviolis i am not kidding you it is so so good like gourmet adult raviolis highly recommend a lot later it is 10 o'clock at night i'm about to actually jump in the shower and um go to bed but before i did i wanted to get on here and tell you guys um kind of my experience so far and like the hoops we've um had to jump through and kind of my experience so far as being my husband being in recruiting school he was there for a week and um then I think on his second week, he found out like they got to go on the computer and like look at the selections of where they could go. And let me just remind you, my husband was DA selected. He did not volunteer. When you volunteer, you get a little bit more say of where you're gonna go, but because he was DA selected, he did not. So, um, he sent me this list and said, these are the options you need to put them in, or I have to put them in order from one to 10 or one to nine. And which number one would be where you mostly want to go. And number nine is where you at least want to go. So, and then there's a number 10 option, which you can like write in a destination that you would like to go. But um, chances are, you're probably not going to go there unless you have a medical reason or another kind of reason. So he so these were our options um the first go around okay so he, it was mid-atlantic um cleveland great lakes chicago minneapolis new york oklahoma southern california and um syracuse which is um new york so he put southern california as number one okay and then the rest he just put in like an order or whatever um because that would be the place that we'd want to go the most if we had to pick one of these places so he did that and we held our breath basically then the following week um or a couple days before they were supposed to find out which one was chosen for them he got on and his friend had told him look some of the options have changed so the new options were the new options that were added were Atlanta and Rag, uh, Raglan or I can't, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but North Carolina, I'm pretty sure. So we put those two as our top, Atlanta number one and North Carolina as number two in hopes that we'd be in the South, okay? So the rest of the stuff basically stayed the same. Um, it was now Northern California, Central California, Mid-Atlantic, New York City, New York City, and Syracuse. So uh, those were our options for a while. So we didn't find out, usually you find out on like week three or so, like two and a half, three, um, where you're going. And then a couple days later, you find out your pinpoint. So pinpoint, okay. Say you're in, um, Dallas, Texas. Okay. So that's where you're getting stationed out. Cause that was on here too. Dallas. So those were our new places, North Carolina, Dallas, and Atlanta. And we were hopeful to get one of the South. Um, I'm just gonna put this out here. We did not get the South, but, um, so say you got Dallas. Okay you don't find out your pinpoint location for a little bit longer um so a couple days or so and pinpoint location say you got dallas that doesn't necessarily mean dallas you could be in a very large radius and you can look up like the areas that it could potentially be so then i'm not sure what date it was but here let's see um august 3rd my husband got an email saying that he was welcome to drum roll make your guesses below 
the Mid-Atlantic. And if you don't know where the Mid-Atlantic is, let me tell you. The Mid-Atlantic is New Jersey. So, we are going to New Jersey. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Um, it's really not that bad because a couple days later we got his pinpoint location. But basically we are very close to the ocean and on like near the beach. So we're gonna be at the Jersey Shore basically. Um, so we're... It could have been worse for New Jersey, really it could have been. But as a tip, if your spouse is a E5 or below, usually they don't send below to recruiting school. But if your spouse is an E5, they do not send them normally to New York or like the middle of New Jersey because it is very, very expensive. Where we are going is very expensive. Um, but my husband is promotable, so he has his promotable status, so he will be getting ranked up very shortly after he gets there. But if your spouse is going, then you don't have to worry about New York because nine times out of 10, they do not send E5s to New York because it is so expensive. So we are going to New Jersey. Um, I have family in New Jersey. My, actually my mom, my dad, and like my dad's side of the family and like my mom, like my mom and dad were born in New Jersey. Um, but they don't live there anymore and it's not like they're seen. Um, but my family, my dad's side of the family still lives, a lot of them live in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, but they are actually relocating as we speak as well. Um, but my cousin and um, his wife live right in the same town that we are being stationed and I am so thankful and so excited because I am grateful that I'm able to be with family and have someone there that I can relate with and that gets me and she just had a daughter so I think it'll be really great. I'm excited that we'll be close to the beach. I know that we won't get to enjoy the beach for a bit um, a bit because we're going there in October and it'll start getting really chilly then. But next summer, we'll get to go to the beach. Um, my cousin has a pool. I think where we're moving has a pool. So I'm really excited for the summertime. The area seems great. Like, um, besides cost of living, honestly, other than that, which the military does accommodate. Um, besides that, honestly, um, there's great shopping, great food, great school. So that's really all I can ask for. And I'm really excited that we are not like in the middle of a big city. We are definitely not in the middle of a big city. So I'm grateful and thankful because I was really worried about that. I would not thrive there. <laughs> um, and neither would my husband. So that is where we're going, New Jersey. So I hope you guys are excited to come along for this journey. I haven't decided what sort of move we're gonna do yet. We thought we were gonna do a Diddy move, which means you do it on your own, but I think we're leaning maybe towards like partial, I'm not really sure yet. We haven't fully decided, but either way, I'll take you guys along with me and I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll give you all my tips along the way. But yeah, thank you guys so much for following me along on this journey. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I hope to continue to do this. I can't wait to show you our new place. Um, I've been just super stressed out the past couple days and trying to figure out where we're going because it's not like we can physically be there, you know, and look with our physical eyes. So it's been very difficult. But having family there, having a realtor, that helps um, us along the way. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was all over the place, but in the end, I hope you did enjoy. And if you are, you are a military spouse and you enjoy this sort of video, please give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. Um, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I would love to have you, but I'm going to go get in the shower and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.